Hello, and welcome to Medieval Engineers. My name's Pinter J. So, I had picked this game up because Double D showed it to me and it looked pretty cool. Said he wanted to try it out. Said he wanted to play it, but he didn't think his computer was going to play it. So, I decided I would pick it up and let him come over and play it for a little while. Maybe he will do a series on it. I don't think I'm going to do a series on it. I just wanted to play around with it. And, um... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do a series on it. I'm not sure. I just wanted to play around with it and uh, check it out. This is an early release, so it, we don't have everything in the game just yet. But uh, it looks pretty cool so far. I've only played a little bit around with it. So let's get into making a new world. Uh, you have the option of Quick Start or Custom World. I'm just going to do Custom World because in the Quick Start they have a little house and stuff in there. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to just try and show you guys the basic controls and stuff. So I think I'm going to go with this Plains here that doesn't have any structures in it. And we'll just go with... Uh, oh, I, one thing that I just missed there is uh, you have the Structural Integrity. You can turn that off. And uh, what that is is that means you can't put so much weight in a certain area. You know, you actually have to... Work think about how structures are made and created uh, and we'll get into that in just a minute uh, be at peace with your own soul then heaven and earth will be at peace with you I, don't know, I, th I think that's kinda true I'm at peace right now it's pretty peaceful nice and warm nice little heater here it's a pretty sunny day outside it's a little bit chilly a little bit chilly but not as bad as the last few days that we've had here in the Midwest been pretty cold a little bit of that below zero temperatures going on but it's like a 30 30 some degrees out here today so it's not too bad today okay you can't hide these hints in game options F1 for help and tutorials. G gets you a configured toolbar. 1, 2, 3 is the equipment slot. You see it goes all the way up to 10 or 0. And then press tab to hide and unhide the hub. Or the HUD, I should say. Heads up display. See, tab. Okay? So we'll just keep that on for now. I think I will go into options, create. Uh, with escape and um, get rid of I think that's display and no not display oh it tells you your video adapter see I run a AMD Radeon HD 7700 series uh, I tried to put in a bigger one than that but uh, game maybe it's in game Show control hints, okay. We can show control hints and take that off. So that is under game. Uh, as I was saying, as I tried to upgrade to a better graphics card, but my motherboard couldn't handle it, so I'll have to wait until I upgrade to another computer to get a better graphics card. But this one seems to be running it pretty well. Everything looks pretty nice on here. As you can see too, you can save your game at any time. They do have an autosave feature on here, but you can save your game at any time by hitting the escape and save. And then just hit escape again to get back into the controls. As you can see, I'm in first person view here. You can change your view by hitting V and that'll change your view. And then you can hold caps or is it alt? I think it's control or caps it's one of these which one is it caps crouches C which one was it again I thought it was caps ah yeah it's caps you can hold down the caps lock key and you can free view and then you can zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel see I can zoom quite a ways away and then you can zoom in on your guy take a look at your guy um, I'm gonna name this guy Sir Squish a lot, Sir Squish a lot, because it sounds like everywhere he runs, uh, his he's got water in his boots. And then if you hit view, it'll go back to the behind the head kind of view. I like to take it out a little bit just so I have a little bit more room to see. See, it sounds like he's squishing all over the place. And then you can see World Planes that just auto saved it. So. Sir Squish a lot here, and I are going to get on to um, building a basic structure. Uh, what you can do as well is hit X, 
and this will turn on your flying mode and this is basically uh, like any other flying mode uh, the controls to move around are like a lot of other games it's W to move forward, S to move backwards and straf left and right are um, S and D or A and D I should say S is backwards, W is forward so without that you go back into X and you can fly spacebar is up uh, when you're not in fly mode spacebar is jump you can also jump using the F button or uh, spacebar and then X to fly up is spacebar and then to go down is C and then to go forward is W just like walking and S and then side to side is A and D so let's get into talking about the different blocks you hit G to get into your blocks that you have we have all these blocks to work with so it's not a lot right now but you know like I said it's in early development uh, pre-release or um, just release early release early access through Steam came out on February 19th I picked it up yesterday played around with it a little bit last night and then we got right into it today so with this you can right click on any of these so let's get rid of let's say our um, trebuchet boulders and you can right click on that to remove anything you want here down in the bottom so let's remove some of these stone things here and then if you want to remove all of them you can remove all of them and then to pick anything up here you can just right click on this. Now if you have this highlighted 6 and you right click on let's say the stone wall arch it'll go into 6 Oh, and I guess not. It went into two. So it fills up the ones, the empty slots first, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. You could just right click on that stuff to get that what you want. And then uh, you can also take it with the left mouse key and drag it down in there if you want. But I mean, why do that when it's so much faster just to click on that with the right key? Uh, this open voxel hand, uh, this is, uh, you can control the terrain. Uh, let's go with the square here, and then click out of this. And you can uh, adjust the size of this square. You see material grass, I think it's H. H is going to give you the brush settings distance, the width, the height, and the depth. So you can see you can change the depth, the height, Let's leave the height the same and the width. So we can do pretty big square here. Looks like 10 and the depth. Let's make go up to 10 as well. And then you can see we have a pretty big square here. You can change the material by using the bracket keys. So you see we have grass and uh, let's get out of this. Oh, hit OK on that. And then it gives you this whole world border. I'm guessing that's like you can uh, generate that's probably what this all you can generate build inside of it I'm guessing is that but uh, you can change the material by using the brackets as you can see you can go down pretty deep into the, the and then you can get up into this here you can toggle the free build well I'll show you that in just a minute but let's change our material to stone you can see you can have wood needles wood grass woods stone soil grass rocks, rocks and grass, grass, and stone two. I'm not sure what the difference is between stone and stone two. So let's take a look at that. Now to place this, you just uh, simply left click on there. So let's do that. And there we have a pretty nice platform. Now let's go to the next stone. And let's put one next to that. Let's move over a little bit and see if we can get one right next to that. Okay, that's pretty close. And let's look at the difference between the stone. Okay, so not a whole lot of difference. A little bit, subtle little differences, but not a lot. I guess just, you know, this one's a little bit lighter than that one. That one's a little bit darker, but not much as far as the different texture goes. Not too much difference there. Uh, we can also go to soil, and you can also remove what you've placed down by right-clicking with the mouse. And see, so you can take that away and then get that out of there and then I made a little bit of a hole there but that's okay you can just fill that back in with soil or whatever you want to fill that in with 
So let's fill this in a little bit. You can also hold it down and drag it, and that'll do big areas at a time. This is a little harder to work with, I found, especially when, um, especially when you're using a smaller terrain generator. Like if you had it as a smaller square, like I found that that's kind of difficult to, you know, raise and level the terrain with the smaller. So I think it's better if you're gonna be building like bigger structures. To probably go up and do this bigger area and like I said you can just drag it around by just holding down and dragging the material around so see then we got nice big area here and let's actually take this guy down again and let's get over to the edge there and take that guy down too and did we go a little too far there Oh, that's okay. All right, let's fix this corner. How we doing there? Good. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Good enough for right now, anyway. So that's the terrain generation, and let's get into building something. Let's go with all blocks here. I'm gonna go with a little stone house. Let's remove this for now. I'm gonna go with a little stone. Uh, what I will show you with the, let's grab a stone wall, stone window, stone door, maybe a stone archway. I don't think I'll need that though, but um, a lot of this other stuff you can play around with. And then let's get one of these. And okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for now. All right, so let's go into one here. I will show you what I mean by the physics are enabled and you can't put too much weight on there one thing with building stuff you can like if you want to just build a platform of this stone blocks you can hold down control and the left mouse key I think it is but what you have to do with this is you kinda of have to get it at the same time it's kinda of tricky to get it to all go at the same time there we go I had it All right there we go so you want to hold down the left mouse key and then hit control in order to build larger areas and then I think it's control and shift if you want to do square areas yeah it's control and shift if you want to do bigger square areas so you can go control shift left mouse key and create a big platform of stuff there but as you can see physics are enabled and the structural integrity is enabled so we didn't have anything support in that corner there it was just floating in the air so that's why they crumbled down another example of that will be is you can't stack too much stuff so let's hold down and press our control and let's if I can get it Let me get it. It's a little tricky to get the hang of it. To get it to do the multiple. Let's remove that. Again, you can remove stuff by just right clicking on the stuff. And let's go back down. And let's see if I can get this. Okay. Maybe you have to push. There, we got it. It's kind of tricky to get them to go at the same time. You almost have to click them at exactly the same time. But see, I can stack up a bunch of stuff and then create it, and it'll all fall over because there's too much weight on there. There's nothing to support it. So it goes by real-life physics, and it's going to just crumble and crack and break which is pretty cool you know it's you actually have to think about the structural integrity of your buildings you can check the structural integrity of the buildings by hitting N as you can see that stuff's all like this in the green here that stuff's pretty good but as you can see as it gets into the red and the yellow it's not so not so good there so the structural integrity isn't quite as good when in those areas there and then you can just hit N again to get out of that. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a simple little house. Uh, I think I'm just going to use the dirt floor here 
and we'll go with these stone walls. Excuse me for just a second here. <coughs> oh, I felt a sneeze coming on. Sorry about that. All right, so we have our uh, stone walls here. You can place these by hitting left click. We're going to put a couple of stone walls in. Maybe throw in a window here and there. So let's put in a window. And let's go back to stone walls. Again, you can just hit the number pad for hitting what you want. And then let's go like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then in order, what is really cool about this is you can set blocks inside of other blocks. You know, two things inside of the same block. Now, in order to do this, we're going to go with a uh, window here. In order to do this, you have to hit the Alt key. And then I don't think you have to with windows. But to rotate stuff, you can hit E. And it'll rotate the block inside of the other stuff. As you can see, I have it over here. And you can just hit E and it'll rotate it to each side. Now, some blocks you can hit the R and whatever else. And it'll rotate. I'll get into that after I get the roof on or when I get the roof on, but uh, as you can see I can't place that there now. Okay, there it goes into there. Alright. Why Why it'll go sometimes but not go now. Alright, but there it goes like that. But in order to place the block, if you want to place the block inside the same block and it doesn't go, you hit the Alt key and it'll go right in there. Okay, so we're gonna go with a door here and we're gonna have to rotate that guy I'm gonna put a door here and then I think we'll put a wall here here's gonna be an example of where we're gonna need to use the alt key I think because see that's not in the same block there and we want this on the other side what no we don't have to use the alt key I guess okay that's fine and we'll put another block here on this one we probably will though because you can see that it will not let me put a wall there so let's rotate let's rotate our wall that way and you can see that it won't let me put the wall there so if I put the alt key let me move back just a little bit oh there it'll it'll let me do it there why wouldn't it let me do it before oh it won't let me do it on the inside if I want to put the wall on the inside is that it no it will hmm okay so let's go like that and let's put another window in here and we're gonna have to rotate this guy using E go ahead and rotate that guy and then we'll go back to a wall and that looks pretty good so far I think we'll stick with that not too bad and let's actually remove what do we have here two too wide on this let's actually remove this one on the end okay and then we're gonna go start going this way and then I think we'll put a window here and just click that with the left button and then maybe we'll put some wall here another wall here and a wall here and let's go with a window on one end over here Let's do window here and rotate, 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 rotate. Okay. And you know what? Why not? Let's put another window in there too. Okay. So I think that's a pretty good start. Not too bad. And let's go ahead and put in a roof. Now, for that, we're going to go with this wooden panel I'm gonna put on the outside just for decoration let's rotate that guy and as you can see it doesn't go on that side like that so we'll put that over here on this side and put that there and you can see it doesn't go like that this is where you can use the R key and it'll rotate it in the same panel or on the same side and we'll go like that and we got that guy in so that looks pretty good and let's go over to this guy and we can rotate it this way and then use our R key again oh I just missed it and we'll go like that and then we can put this guy here and rotate it like that 
I think that looks pretty nice. And then, uh, you know, since this is medieval, I think we'll just go with a little simple thatch roof. These are poor people living out on the plains, you know. There's no, no big castle here or anything like that. So we're just going to go with simple thatch roof, I think. Hay, roof hay. So let's go with roof. And let's get out of this. Now this is probably where we're going to have to use the alt key. See how it won't let me put that there? But when we push Alt, it'll go up next to that. And then we'll go over to this side. And we'll have to rotate it and then push Alt. And it should let me get that if it'll let me get it. There it was. It's a little tricky to get a can, uh, the hang of the controls. But once you get them down, it's not that tough to build pretty cool stuff. Uh, like I said, I've just been playing with it for like a day. I haven't had it very long. And that's in the wrong spot. So, as you can see, I'm not an expert at this. I'm still learning myself. It might be because we're in the wrong area here. Let's try and get this square. Okay, we have that one. Okay. Okay. Well, there we go. Now we got it. Let's try and get that guy. And then with this corner piece here... We might actually want to remove this part. Or can we get this going here? Let's rotate this around. Put that in. And then with this corner piece here, you can take uh you can change the structure of the roof by scrolling the wheel. As you can see, you can do corners and you can do inside parts like that. So what I'm gonna do up here is I'm going to put that guy in there and that'll give us that nice edge there, that nice corner edge. So that's pretty sweet. So we're going to have to scroll on our mouse again to get the flat guy. And let's rotate and hit Alt and get it in the right spot. And this automatically connects to the other side of the roof, which is pretty nice. And let's get that guy Alt. Maybe that'll go. This is the one that's going to be tricky. Okay, there it goes. Went in nice, actually. And then for this corner piece. And the flying around's a little goofy, too. Like, it seems like you build momentum. I'm guessing that's because of its real physics. You know, you build an object in motion, stays in motion. So you kind of have to stop yourself a little bit. Uh, I'll show you one thing that I thought was kind of cool in as soon as I'm done building this. So let's rotate that guy, hit Alt, and get that on there. And let's get... Whoa! Accidentally hit my fly off mode. Okay, let's put Alt on that guy. And that'll build us our house. Oh, I keep on hitting the wrong button. I'm trying to fly down and... I'm hitting the wrong button. Okay, so let's get... that guy and Alt him and this one alt and then we're gonna get our corner piece where we'll have to scroll it like that and hit alt and hopefully that yeah that connected nice so very cool so we pretty much have ourselves our first little house you can go into the inside and you can let's get out of fly mode and you can go into the inside and you can put in tables and beds and all kinds of cool stuff in here. So a wooden chest. Let's get a wooden chest. Let's get rid of our roof stuff. We don't need this anymore. You can put in a bed and some chairs. And let's grab a barrel as well too. Let's throw a couple barrels outside of the place. And there we go. Like that. Maybe... I'm sure they're going to add more stuff uh, when uh, when the game is in further development. So let's put a few barrels around here. That's pretty cool. You can put them pretty close together. So yeah, that's nice. I like that. Alright, and then let's go ahead and, and get ourselves a bed. Let's put the bed back here and by the... Uh, no, you know, let's leave the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put the bed out back here by the these other windows maybe throw a bed in there maybe throw a chest over here on the side and then you can rotate these as well by let's put a couple chests in here let's put a chest here 
and then let's rotate this guy and maybe put a chest over here underneath this window and then we can take a chair and let's rotate that guy up and get him up against the wall and so we have a nice little bed and a chair there for us to sit down in now I don't think you can oh you can interact with these things so that's cool you can looks like you'd be able to let's get an open hand here and can you actually open the stuff or how do you interact with that I'm not really sure how you interact with stuff yet I think it's T is it T no it's not T uh, cancel oh yeah you can change your guy you can change your color and everything with T so if you want to change your guys your players uh, can you do uh, you can only do medieval male maybe they'll have females later on but you can change the color of your guy by hitting T and saturation and hue and all that stuff so I'm just gonna leave that alone for now so I'm gonna take a look at the controls I'm gonna go into escape I'm gonna go into options and controls and actually I think it was F1 F1 I think gives us the controls okay controls so how do you interact with stuff was block picking B I don't think it's B unequip next toolbar primary tool action is left control left mouse uh, secondary tool action use interact was T I was right how come it no how come it no interact well anyhow I thought it was T but it's not it's not hmm well anyway you can also um, let's put in some tables let's put in our table and let's maybe rotate this guy and put this more in the middle oh I'm jumping on stuff put that guy there and let's put some chairs in around it and rotate the chair put some chairs in oh you can put chairs right up next to each other nobody usually sits like that though so let's not put them right next to each other okay and rotate this guy and that's a little bit close let's get over here okay pretty good good enough anyhow and it's pretty cool you can get it pretty close to the table okay something like that I don't know dirt floor little dirt shack not too bad I like it it's not too bad for my first structure my basically first structure I did build a smaller little house earlier but um, not quite as good as this one so it's not too bad let's get an open hand here and I believe it's control C you can copy stuff with control C and see we copied this whole building here so that was pretty cool control C you can also send stuff flying um, I think it's control V in order to paste this stuff uh, I'm not sure if you can rotate yeah it doesn't look like you can rotate these things just yet it'd be cool if you could like rotate them and mirror them and stuff like that I I'm yeah you can't even rotate it this way yeah it would be cool if you could rotate the buildings that you copy but it doesn't look like you can so control C to copy your structure and then I think it's control V to place it yeah or I think you can just right or left click on it in order to place it so that's a pretty cool feature I'm sure all this stuff is gonna get upgraded but um, as I was saying with the physics and the flying around let's get up here and uh, I noticed this earlier I don't think you can do this with a building because you're not really um, strong enough or big enough in order to do it with a building but I flew into some trees and you knock the trees down with your momentum of your what here let's do it oh I smash into a tree no nah, it didn't knock them down no nah, it didn't 
I must have been going a lot faster before. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just as something to play around with. But you can also get your, um, what is it, these character tools, generated blocks, I think it's just regular blocks, I think it's all blocks, or maybe it's generated blocks, no, character tools, large projectile thrower, large projectile thrower, so let's get one of these large projectile throwers, and when you're clicked on this, you can throw them just by hitting the left, and you see they'll just Blimp. But if you hold it down, it'll build up the momentum and it'll throw it a lot faster and at a higher velocity. So let's hold this down. Let's get into first person view. Let's hold this down and oh, let's actually, you know what, let's throw that over that way. Let's actually take a look at our structural integrity and see how we did on this structural integrity. See, it's not too bad, all green there doesn't look like anything's just going to fall over on its own. There's a couple of yellow spots, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty uh, intact. There's a couple of yellow spots there, but uh, like it's not too bad. Not too bad. So let's go into that, and let's see how the structural integrity holds up when we throw a trebuchet ball at it, a big boulder. Oh, that thing just crumbled. So it doesn't hold up very well to boulders, apparently. So let's try this side. Yeah, the whole... Oh, that poor thing. And then we have pieces of boulder on the inside of our house. So I'm really looking forward to when they actually get this up and running. And then I wonder, did that... Um, let's get out of fly mode here. Did that... Oh, I can't get in there because it's in the... Yeah, it doesn't look like it... Um, You'd probably have to place it on a platform like this instead of just in the ground like that. But it didn't look like it um, copied the bed and the table and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to, like I said, when you can actually get on with other people and go to war and smash somebody's buildings up. You're going to put in a lot of hard work and somebody's going to come along and just smash it up. I'm not going to get into they have all these trebuchets and stuff that you can make and windmills and stuff like that. Uh, one thing with the timbers I did see is that you have to control the length of the timber that you're putting down uh, by the scroll scroll wheel so let's put down a timber there and then like you can adjust the and then this is probably one that you can rotate with the R yeah and then like I said you can control the length of it by the scroll wheel on your mouse and so you can put in a lot of cool timbers maybe supports for your house if you want your house to be more supported and let's just uh, let's what do we have here we have a catch block we can put that in and maybe the wheel. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And then catch block. And let's grab another timber. Okay, and let's see if we can put in a catch block here. What do we have? Eight is the catch block. Let's remove that guy. And can we alt that and put that on there? Why you don't go? Hmm, well, I'm not sure why it won't go on to that, but maybe you have to put it a certain way on there or something. I'm not sure. But it doesn't appear that it goes right on there. Can we put it there? Oh, oh that's not right. Alright, let's put it on there. We can put it on there, and then let's get a timber. And we can put that, I believe. Can we rotate this? Let's rotate it that way. And then, can we put that right in there? Hmm. Well, that won't go. Like I said, the controls are a little funny still. I'm still getting used to it. 
but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to attach that to that. Oh, there it goes. Just have to get it in the right spot, I guess. Maybe. Maybe if the timber wasn't so long, that would help too. So let's shorten up that timber to this. Okay, let's put that on there, and let's get four, and let's put that on there, and then we should be able to interact with stuff with T. Although it said that it wasn't T. Flying mode off. Oh, you have to hold down T. Okay. And as you can see, we're turning the thing. And the whole other side of the thing is turning there. And I think if you want to go the opposite direction, you hold down Shift and T. Yes. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Let's go in and see if we can get into that chest then. If it's so, let's hold down T. No. For some reason, you can't get into chests unless the chest, unless this is the chest, changing your player character. I don't know, but I think that'll do it for today. Got quite a bit done and learned quite a bit. Uh, I'm really excited to get going on building more cool stuff, and I really hope Double D gets over and has a chance, because this is the he's the main reason that I picked this game up is so he could check it out and play it, because I know his computer doesn't run it, so I'm really excited to see what he can do with it as well, because what what was that? Did I actually place it? What is that thing? Did I actually place a boulder in there? Oh, weird. I actually placed a boulder right in the... Crazy. But I think that'll do it for Sir Squish a lot and myself. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit a like, hit a subscribe, and we will talk to you next time.